Hello, I'm Andrew Greenfield, and I am a global storage and network engineer for IBM. Today, we're going to tour the new management interface for the Flash System A9000 family set of arrays. First and foremost, let's take a journey back to the year 2009 when we had the XIV GUI change the entire industry. This is when IBM acquired the XIV into its storage portfolio. Because the XIV and its GUI was simple, it was also easy to use. Far easier than any of the competitors, let alone existing IBM products. And with basically less than three mouse clicks, you could do anything without picking up a manual, without reading complex journals, or knowing very much about storage fundamentals. And it did so easily at a great performance and price ratio. Fast forward to 2016. Moshe Weiss and his talented team in Tel Aviv, Israel, have come up with an evolution of that original GUI for Flash System A9000 and the Flash System A9000R. IT has evolved, too, into very complex systems with virtual machines and virtual switches, as well as cloud-based computing. We need an interface that no longer focuses on one particular layer, but an entire infrastructure. In the Flash System A9000, we have a hyperscale manager user interface. Basically, we have rings, and they work to take us to the next level of transparency and control. We're able to see those rings, so when you make a change in one particular area, you can see how easily it is linked to every other area. We see this as the future. The system has many great features, like type-ahead navigation, 3D hardware view, and is compatible on all mobile devices. I'm going to log in as a global administrator right now. First, you'll see the dashboard. You can see one system in the UI right now, but you can handle well over 100 systems easily. When you log in, no matter how many systems you've defined, you'll see the health of your entire landscape represented on these hubs and spokes or rings. This GUI actually will offer tips to improve your environment based on known best practices. For instance, you'll see that there is a host that is not mapped. You can change that by clicking here and either map or remove it from your particular GUI. One of the big advantages of the Flash System A9000 and the Flash System A9000R is that we're actually doing data reduction on both deduplication as well as a compression standpoint. Both together give me an excellent amount of savings. That includes compression and deduplication. That means we've written far less than what we've provisioned, but our effective amount is even better. If you forget what some of these definitions are, you can click over the area and it shows you exactly what's going on. If you look in the decimal readout up above, you can see it graphically as well. Notice, you can also see the physical usage of the array. We have latencies, we have IOPS, and we can actually pin on the graph so that you can go into more detail. But before we do any more of those, let's take a tour of the rest of the screen. Here we have secure multi-tenancy. We can actually carve up the Flash System A9000 into many other units. This allows other divisions, departments, users to have sub-access. You can get help by clicking on the Life Preserver icon. If you need to sign in or out, click on the User icon. You can actually drill into almost anything on the A9000 and take a closer look at it. Currently, we are looking at the hardware view. On the left-hand side, it already has one system, and it highlighted this currently. There are many other screens as well. Statistics, volume, and quality of service. As a host, you can actually bring up your various pools and volumes, snapshots, consistency groups, or even snapshot groups. If you want to bring up the host and cluster views, all the host mappings and volumes with their connectivity, you can click here. You can also identify whether a quality of service is defined on a particular host. For example, a test or development box. You can actually go into a mirror or migration in the migration and mirroring connectivity areas to provide specific granular access to either your users or even a user group, click here. This allows you to provide an access in a very limited way for a divergent set of users. And before we finish this overview, you can see my total IOPS, the latency, or bandwidth. We'll get into more of this in the next section. Let's go now into the statistics element of the Flash System A9000 GUI. There's multiple ways to do this. Let's click over to the system view first. Again, you can bring up two different ways of looking at the system. Since the system itself is highlighted, 
it'll actually chart down below so you can see exactly what's going on. We also see the system is displayed in detail as well as its interconnected rings. The A9000 shows all elements, including domains, volumes, and snapshots as part of the overall hub and spoke system. You're able to then see exactly how a volume is mapped from any point of view over your entire storage infrastructure. So when you click on a volume statistic, it actually gives you a look at what is going on in your particular set of volumes or single volume on this particular array. It also shows your actual live charts, such as the maximums, the average, or minimums on a particular series of volumes. To go to a particular host, you can just click on that one host, and when we do, notice there's a custom filter for that particular volume up above. We can then narrow our view to only its IOPS and latency. We also can then view its bandwidth in megabytes per second. The Flash Systems A9000 shows you can drill down to one particular volume, a host, or a series of volumes very quickly and easily to get the info you need. To get back to a single volume again, let's first bring up all my volumes. As noted earlier, the A9000 GUI gives you live filters for any of your highlighted selections. To bring up additional charts, you can click here. If you want to drill down to get more information, you can click on the mappings. I can see those volumes and how they're mapped to the hosts. They're not part of any cluster. Next, we have jumped into the host filter view and now can see all those hosts. I can see their IOPS and total latencies. We can actually export this as well to a CSV. More importantly, you can actually go and see the historic performance like the XIV. You can go to a particular range. For example, you can see up to 365 days worth of statistics. You can also bring up the various hits and misses. We can chart reads and writes, or just the reads, or just the writes. Let's take a look at the historical IOPS now. We have our volumes listed to this one particular host, and you can see those ones. If you need to see this in a bigger view, you can actually maximize this and see a bit more. This area is the Google Type Ahead filter, which is available on all these particular screens. Right now, it's showing a particular host view. By simply typing any characters, just like Google, the Flash System A9000 GUI will show you what it can find across its entire environment. But more importantly, I can also build searches quickly so that you can easily find sets of volumes, hosts, or snapshots by any number of criteria. To see statistics, click on one volume and it immediately shows me some of those particular statistics. To show a bunch of different volumes, once they're selected, their IOPS, the latency, as well as the hub all get updated. As you can see, that Google Type Ahead screen is a very valuable feature. Once you're done, you can actually then save this as a saved view so that when you log in the next time, you can immediately see it without the need to build it again. Let's take a look at what the average life cycle for a storage administrator is going to be like. First, create a new pool by clicking here. Name the pool. Next, give it some space. We'll add it to our existing A9000. Since we only have one domain, we'll click Apply. We've now added a pool, but we don't have any volumes in it. Let's fix that. And now, let's add some volumes. As you can see, I now have other tabs. Tabs are a very important feature in the fact that you use them to do different functions, enabling more than one view all at the same time without switching your context. When done, we simply click Apply. This is a huge improvement over the XIV where we had a 17 gigabyte minimum size. The Flash System A9000, on the other hand, makes it very easy and simple to add any number of volumes. Let's map it now. It's still selected, and we're not doing any IOPS on it, so let's map this volume to a particular host. Click on Mapping, and let's add this volume. We have a host that we created earlier, or we can use some of the existing live hosts. Okay, one of the great things about having multiple tabs is you can switch around different views very quickly. For example, what happens if I need to do some cleanup operations? 
Storage administrators need to do this all the time, and there's some dependencies to be aware of. If you wanted to get rid of this pool right now, you would go to the Actions. Let's actually try to delete this pool. Wait a second. We can't delete this pool until you actually take care of the volumes that are still inside it. Let's click to navigate. Let's bring up a new tab. Select that one volume. When we try to delete this volume, another safety appears. You can't delete this volume because it's mapped to a host. Let's actually bring up the other host screen. Now let's unmap it. You'll notice there's a blue line right there to actually help you out with this entire operation. When you unmap this one volume, notice how my icon changed up above in the hub system. Now you're able to delete this volume. More importantly, now that this volume is deleted, you can go back and get rid of the pool because all those preconditions have been removed. As you see with the tabs, it automatically opened up, but we do not lose context or my focus in any of those tabs. The new management interface for the Flash System A9000 set of arrays allows for quick and easy changes, revisions, updates, and functionality. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Thanks for watching.